So looking at this thing here, let's try one more. I think I have another one here, which is again, looking at this item here, what do we do? Which is everybody I see that the first thing we need to do is we need to get rid of the parenthesis and to get rid of the parenthesis, I need to take the negative and distributive in both terms. And again, if I take a negative and distributive in both terms, this is what I have is four plus three i plus nine plus 13 i, which is again, a negative time and negative is a positive and negative time and negative is a positive, which is in this case, this is what I have, which is, do you agree that I have 13 plus 16 i, right? Four plus nine will give me 13, three i plus 13 i will give me 16 i. So hopefully you say, oh, Mr. Tran, I like this. This is the easy. And yes, this is all there is, which is, is not, well, you know, the I is new, but the, 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 the application, right? Not the application, but the step, uh, the, the step combined like term is not new, right? So question with this thing here, question with how to combine uh, or how to simplify your complex number. If you don't have question, here come a next new material. Uh, the power of I, the power of I. So there are a few things, which is again, first of all, if you see a square root of negative one, you say that it's equal to I, or vice versa, the I is equal to square root of negative one. Everybody see that they all you know, interact, right? Meaning again, I equals to square root of negative one or negative one equal to I. If you see an I, you can write a square root of negative one or vice versa. If you see a square root of negative one or a square root of negative number, you have to put in the I. So the next thing they tell you is if it's I square, then the answer is equal to negative one. You would say, why is that? Well, let's take a look at this thing here. Do you agree that if I square on one side, I have to square on the other side, which is, that's what we did last time in terms of 10.6. If I square on one side, which is I square, I have to square on this side, which is remember a square and a square root. What happened Well, a square and a square root, they cancel each other out, right? This square, this square and this square root, they cancel each other out, which is you only have a negative one on the outside, which is, this is to show us that an I square is just simply equal to negative one, right? So those are the only two items. Those this is the probably the only. No, uh, I I don't know. I I I don't know if my MATLAB asks you something else. But again, I think those are the only two important items we have. Um, if they were to ask you for I to the third power, well, I to the third power is equal to a negative square root of a negative one. And again, the two negative do not distribute them, the square root are not a parenthesis, right? So look at this thing here. If you say, why is it Mr. Tran? This is confusing. Why, why is there's a negative and a square root of a negative again? Well, think about this thing here, which is, do you agree? Do you agree that I to the third is the same as I square time I? Because I square time I, which is, do you agree that all we need to do is, again, I is just basically I to the one power, which is again, two plus one, that's give me three, right? So again, looking at this thing here, if you agree that I to the third is the same as I to square time I, then you have to agree that I square is equal to negative one, we just verify that up here, and the I is basically negative I. Right, but again, what is negative i? Well, i, go back to this item, i is equal to a square root of negative one, which is again, negative one and a square root of negative one, which is the same as negative of a square root of negative one, okay? And again, lastly, this is the last item is i to the four, which is i to the four is equal to one. I don't know if you get to up to i to the four, but again, i to the four equal to one, why one? Because everybody agree that i to the four is the same as i squared times i squared, right? So what is i squared times i squared? i squared times i squared, which is i squared is negative one times negative one, which is negative one times negative one is equal to one. So again, I, I don't think i to the third and i to the four impact you guys. I just want to throw this thing because the, the next class, the next math class, whoever go to 130, 
you will see this i uh, power of i, which is i, i squared, i to the third, i to the fourth. Okay? But again, this is what we have, which is in, in uh, um, why do I mention this to you guys? Because the last example we have is this thing here, which is again, the last example we have is how can you multiply complex number, right? Which is this thing here, again, please on the test, on the final exam, on your, your item, please reminder that there's nothing between the two parentheses. And if there's nothing between the two parentheses, you do not add or subtract anything, which is if there's nothing, the two parentheses tell you that they all multiply each other. And to multiply to each other, if you remember, if you multiply binomial, it's basically you distributive them, right? We take the first item, we distribute them in. We take the second item, we distribute them, them in, right? Which is, again, if you look at this thing here, which is all you do is you take four times the seven, four times the 11i, you take the three i, the three i times the seven, and the three i times the, the 11i, right? And again, just go back, the red ink is corresponding to the red error. The blue ink is corresponding to the blue error, right? Which is again, what do I do? Which is, did everybody see that I have four times seven is 28, four times 11 is 44i, three times seven, 21i, and 33i squared, because three times three is, three times 11 is 33, i times i is i squared. So looking at this thing here, what do I have? I need to combine like term. And if I combine like term, this is what I have, which is 65i, right? And again, this is why I mentioned prior to this, which is every time now, you know, on top of everything else, on top of everything else, now every time you see an i square, every time you see an i square, you have to convert that to a negative one. Okay. So again, that's the only thing now is we see an i square here. We see an i square here, therefore we convert an i square to a negative one. So what is 33 times negative one? Well, 33 times negative one will give me a negative 33, which is everybody see that we have another like term here. We have a 28 and a negative 33. So again, we have another like term, and because we have like term, we need to combine like term, which is again. 28 minus 33 to give me a negative 5, and you have to put that, which is negative 5 plus 65i. You always put a real number, doesn't matter if positive or negative, a real number in front, and the imaginary number, the i in the back. Okay, so again, looking at this thing here, hopefully, you guys see that is nothing new, right? We foil them out. <clears throat> You fold them out, you combine like term. The only thing new is when you see an i square, you have to, when you see an i square, you have to convert that to become a negative one. So again, look at B, which is, as you can see, look at B, very similar to A, right? The only thing different in B that is not in A is you have a negative two i, right? So again, looking at this thing here, let me, Take a look at this thing here, which is again, I take the nine times the three, the nine times a negative i, a negative two i times the three, and a negative two i times the, the seven i, right? Um, again, I remove this, this error because the error is in the way of, of this item here. So again, the blue ink uh, is correspond to, correspond to the blue, blue error, which is I, I, I clear it out. The red ink corresponds to red error, which is as you can see, this is what we should have is nine times three is 27, nine times seven is 63, three times two is six, two times seven is 14, right? The i and i square is that. Combine like term to give you 63 minus six to give you 57, negative 14 times a negative one to give you a positive 14, which is now everybody see that we need to combine like term, which is 27 plus 14 to give you 41. And again, the 57i stay in the back, okay? So again, um, before we move on, uh, again, this is the last example we have in the 11 point, uh, not 11, uh, chapter 10. Uh, before we do, I, I think I have one more problem. Uh, before we do the next problem, let me ask you guys, 
Uh, any question with this thing here? Hopefully you guys see that, again, uh, it's just a, that's what math is, ladies and gentlemen. We just recycle our, our problem, right? No, the problem look new, but we just recycle all of the previous procedure. We haven't had have any other new procedure. Combined like term, that's, that's not new. For you, that's not new, right? The only thing new is, is the I square, right? The I square and the I. Uh, the I square become negative one, combine like term again. Okay. Right. If you don't have a question, let's take a look at this problem, which is what if, right? What if we have this problem five minus nine I square on the outside? Meaning again, looking at this thing here, how can we do this item, which is if you remember this is your special product, you can do it. If not, you can always write it out twice. And just like before, if you write out twice, we have to distributive them out, right? We take the first time the last two, take the second item time the last parenthesis, which is again, if you do that, this is what we have, which is five times five is 25. Five times nine is 45, nine times five is 45, and nine times nine is 81 I squared, right? Which is, again, we combine like term, which is 41 times 41, not 41 times 41, sorry, 41, and four, 45 and 45 to get you 90. And again, the I squared become a negative one, which is, again, looking at this thing here, I have 25 minus 90 I minus 81, because negative one 